Hi, Dr. Burns with Maximized Health. In this short video segment, I wanna talk about something we're discussing in our office this week, which is called the two-week window principle. You have two weeks before something goes very bad. So, most of us don't know what this is, and that's a problem. I'm gonna tell you how important this is to you in just a second and explain to you why you should care. I also put down below this video what we discussed last week, which is Wolf's Law, which applies to everybody, and there's a reason why you should care. And the two ideas are connected together. So, the two-week window principle is something that I live by. It impacts me in a positive way because I'm aware of it. And I th want to share this information with you so you can make it work for you as well. So the two-week window principle, I'm going to read just a little bit. I don't normally do this, but I want you to understand that this is not my cool idea. This actually comes from research and science. It's just how do we apply it in our, in our real-world life? That's where the rubber meets the road, so to speak. So the two-week window principle comes from research done from the Journal of Clinical Biomechanics way back in 1987, this was published. So I'm gonna read, but I want you to understand this very clearly. The evidence in this research review shows that restricted joint motion in the spine can lead to arthritis. With respect to patients, it can be postulated that immobilization, for whatever cause, will initiate a pathogenic chain of musculoskeletal degenerative changes. Now you may not understand all that, but that's bad. Meaning, when something's stuck, it usually leads to something bad. Now, how long can it be stuck before it becomes real bad and then we should care? If the joint immobility is not corrected within a two-week window or two-week period, the osteoarthritis starts to become permanent. So we talked last time about Wolf's Law says, if you subject your bones of your body to too much stress, they will age faster, simply put. That's a biological law. Now, when do we need to care about this? This research is saying that if a joint in your body, whether it's your knee or your spine, becomes immobilized or restricted in motion and remains so for longer than two weeks, it starts to become a big deal. Now, why do we care about this in our society? Well, here's the short and skinny on it. Our society is raised, it's been inundated by the powers that be, the influential powers that be, that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Said another way, if it doesn't hurt, who cares? The truth is, degeneration is going to happen before you feel pain, i.e. tooth, a great analogy. You have a cavity before you feel pain. That's why you go to the dentist to get checked regularly. So that's why I get adjusted at least once a week. I want to make sure, regardless of how I feel or what I'm aware of or unaware of, that I'm getting adjusted by a chiropractor I know that I can trust to look to see if things are not moving and get them moving again. So my body never enters that cycle of degenerative change which continues on regardless of how I feel. Who cares? Why do you care? This is why we should be proactive about our spine just like we're proactive about the bones in our mouth. Regardless of whether they hurt or not, regardless of what you're aware of or unaware of, you should have a chiropractor in your back pocket that you go to that can check things and make sure things are moving properly so the two-week window and Wolf's Law don't work against you, they work for you. And this is why we tell people to take their kids to chiropractors, especially at a young age, just like you take them to the dentist. You want to catch something before it becomes something, right? So I want you to remember this two-week window. That's why we promote when we take a patient in and they have problems and we restore what they've been lost, help them regain what they've lost, they feel better, we've changed them, we want them to continue on with some level of chiropractic care for this very reason. And that's why a lot of our patients get adjusted once every two weeks, once a month, maybe once a week. It depends. So there's real science behind the chiropractic profession and what we do in our office. And I want you to realize that. And just like principles and laws of the human body, just like rules of any game, the better you know the rules, the better you can play the game. So teach people, friends, family, what the two-week window is, what Wolf's Law is and make it work for you so it doesn't work against you.